Okay. So what's going to happen is this this terminal bud is going to be the strongest area. Okay. And the more that that develops, the less that these will. Okay. So you see here we have two buds at the tip. One, two. We only have one here and one there. What we're going to do is we're going to take our strongest one out there. And then we're also going to take off some of the needles at the end. Okay, so that one, two, and three have a similar number of needles around them, and the bud size is similar. Okay, now in the spring, the candles will start to extend out. Okay, so those buds will start to swell up, turn into candles. Okay, as those candles begin to extend out, all right, what you're going to want to do is just pinch the tip out. Once it extends out a little bit, just come in, pinch the tip back. Okay, so that it's about that long. And you do that on the strong ones first. And then these weaker ones will start to grow a little bit more. Once they get to the same length as that one, you pinch the, those out. What you might then see is adventitious buds further back will start to maybe form and start to grow a little bit as well. Okay, but the idea is for the end of the year, for one, two, three, all to be, have a similar number of needles around it. Okay. And then with this variety, okay, with this type of Scots pine, okay, which is from the New Forest, right, once you get to about late July, what you want to do come in and cut the tips back there'll, there'll, there'll be buds starting to form at the tips come back in and cut those out okay over the whole tree just cut them back and what will happen is you'll get buds forming further back on the branch and then new buds will form at the tip but what that will happen is those new buds at the tip will be smaller and less vigorous because essentially what you've done by cutting off those bit those buds first, uh, late July, early August, you're throwing energy away. Right? These trees are really vigorous, mm -hmm. super vigorous. They're designed to be forestry trees. Okay? And so by taking off the bud now, or in July, late July, early August, what you're doing is you're wasting energy, throwing it away, slowing the tree down. Mm. And doing that will slow it down, and it'll also force growth further back in. Okay. So the needles will get smaller. So the needles might get a little bit smaller, the growth will become a little bit more compact, you'll get, you'll get more shoots, okay, rather than just having these strong, vigorous ones racing away. Okay. So the more buds we can get forming back here, the more little side shoots, side branches you can get forming back there, the, the shorter the needles will be, the more compact the growth will become. Okay. okay. But it's about really controlling that growth in the spring. You know, those candles as they grow out, don't let them get too long. Pinch them back, and then cut back later on in the year. Always make sure you've got similar numbers of needles around every point. Okay, not too many, not too few. About 10 pairs, something like that, okay? If you've got the same number of needles around every point, every point will be generated the same amount of energy and therefore it'll develop the same amount, okay? okay? If one area has got 20 needles, this area's only got 10 needles, that's gonna get it twice as strong as that. Okay. It's just sense. okay? And then if you end up with a point, a situation like this, where you have one, two, three, four buds all coming from the same point, you've gotta thin that down to two or no more than three, okay? Once the tree starts to develop a lot more, only ever have two from one point. Okay, but when it's still very raw like this, three from one point is fine. Okay, but not for too long. If you have three, four branches all growing from that one point, it becomes knuckled. Okay. Put it on Facebook immediately, regret it.
It's not that bad, actually. Okay. One, two, three, all from the tip. Take out that strongest one at the end. Take off some of those needles. So you're balancing it up with that one at the back there. That's what you've got to do. Just keep rinse and repeat. Just keep doing that every single year. Every time you work on the tree, every time you come to look at it, all you're looking at doing is balancing up the energy. Okay, making sure that all the buds, all the branches are growing exactly the same. So you wouldn't leave more needles at the bottom if you wanted to strengthen it off? No. Well, that's just, so it's a different, another different, nice to see different uh, opinions on wings. Well, I mean, if it's really weak, then yeah. But if you just, basically just put every, if you've got ten, need, 10 needle pairs around every bit, it'll be fine. fine. Particularly this variety. Yeah, I've got quite a few spots, I love them. When, you, when you've got that cluster of needle um, buds at the end, um, you just said you took the strongest one out of the middle. Yeah. Always hold back, always restricting. Always looking at balancing it up. That's all you do. It's all Scott's pines are about. Right, this is a bit of a mess up here. Thing you have to be careful about is the rapid swell the, the branches on Scots will, all, will swell up quite quickly okay so the wire will dig in yeah. okay but you've got to let it dig in a little okay don't be afraid of a little bit of a wire scar because they will pull out very very quickly don't take it off too quickly it just bounces back into position okay don't be afraid of a bit of a wire scar, they will grow out of it. but the key is going to get getting a lot more back budding occurring okay and even growth first job to do that candle pinching in the spring and then bud selection needle selection and then cutting back when um, summer late summer early autumn what are you doing at Cutting all, cutting all the new, the new the, like this year's, next year's new growth off. Yeah. Uh, I've always been told that that is when it hardens off and you, the, the, you know, the needles come out really easily and then when they harden, it's hard to pull them out. Yep, that's when you're doing it. When, you, when the buds are forming at the tip, cut yeah. them off, cut back a lot of the, lot of the growth and you'll, you'll, you'll get bud formation where you've cut back and you'll also get bud formation further back in. Most of my Scots pine that are in refinement development which go in that time, cut every single bud off. Not a problem at all. They bud up like crazy. So they, they do that before the next, before they go into winter, don't they? Yep. You'll start seeing the buds form within seconds of, of each other. <laughs> That's how vigorous they are. Okay. Right. But. Use it as a learning tool for how to develop foliage pads and develop back budding. Okay? It's like a Scots pine chandelier. It is. Yeah. I'm not, not going to swing from the chandelier. You can reach it anyway, you need a bloody long ladder. Okay, right. Mm -hmm.